Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. I hope you guys are all doing great, gang, gang. Sending you much love and many blessings. And uh, for those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. So if you like my style and you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all. So that way you'll be notified. I do two videos a day for Scorpio seven days a week. Today is January the 4th. Um, the only thing I'm going to tell you is that all the information that you need in regards to me is listed down below. If you want a Valentine's reading for the month of February, um, then just say my Valentine. Call one of the toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, or India and get $10 off your reading so you can find out what's going on with your love life. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using several different decks today. The first one I'm using is the Priestess of Light Oracle. For Scorpio, please, I call upon my angels, I call upon the white light, I call upon the Holy Spirit to come into this reading for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got. All right, Scorpio. Death and rebirth. Darkness and light. That's what's going on with you right now. You are going through a rebirth. And it's good. It needed to be done. Right? It's stuff from your childhood. It's stuff from the past. It's past relationships that just keep repeating the same pattern over and over and over again. It's, it, you're starting to discover yourself. You're starting to understand, you know, what you need to release, right? You may have been just so overburdened by all the responsibility that you had. You may have been holding on to a connection that just is not, doesn't fit you anymore. You want to be with somebody who's on the same level as you, not only... Um, abundance wise but you know what I mean it, on all levels abundance huh? so funny we brought that up okay so fortune wealth plenty there may be some abundance coming into you okay I feel you're abundant in your own right here okay but there's some good luck coming into your way some um, amount of money that you weren't expecting Setting boundaries. I feel with somebody from the past, you may just be telling them, you know, just being straight up and just telling them that, you know, you, you don't, you just don't see a future with that person from the past that you've been um, on and off with for a while now. Threshold protection, honor. You are standing in your honor. And you're now saying things exactly the way they are. Summoning power. You're, yeah, you're getting your energy back up. Yeah, it's been a rough spell. Okay. But you're going with your instinct and your um, intellect. And you're taking back control of your life again. Okay. You need to know too, Scorpio, that you are very much protected. Sacred gratitude. Reverent appreciation and prayer. You are praying, and you are very appreciative for everything that you have. Okay? I feel as you've been going through this rough patch, Scorpio, I feel you have gone deeper and deeper into prayer. I also feel with you releasing the baggage from the past, um, you're also ascending and going higher into your spirituality. Okay? Shamic journey purpose, attunement, vision quest, you may start realizing once you go through this um, phoenix rising, right, rising from the ashes, that you're going to understand um, where your spiritual path lies. It's like an awakening. All right, let's go to the next deck. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio, January the 4th, what do we have for the sign of Scorpio? I love you, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? It's been a rough spell, hasn't it? This transition that you've been going through. This shedding of the old skin coming into the new. But it had to be done. It had to be confronted. 
I feel, Scorpio, you, you always want to give the image off that you are so strong. And you just take whatever you're feeling, the hurt that you're feeling, you kind of sweep it under the rug. And it just came to a point where you just can't hide it under the rug anymore. Something that you need to be honest uh, about with yourself. Okay. So let's see what we've got here, Scorpio. Let me just put this off to the side. All right. Here we go. Rising above. Yes, that's what you're doing. You are. I am only beauty and grace. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're just <sighs> rising above all the BS, Scorpio. Okay, all the stuff that you've been holding on to for such a long time. All the disappointments, the hurts, the burdens, people taking and taking and taking from you. you you're just letting it go now. Let me just make sure I'm putting these the right way when I'm done with them. Okay. <sighs> Exceeding expectations. It's like once you just rise up, you're just going for it, right? I soar into excellence. So you're shedding all of this, and then you're just going to be this powerhouse again, right? Sharing of yourself. I am an incredibly generous being. Yes, you are, Scorpio. There may be somebody who is quite special in your life that you've been holding back from. Maybe because you had to deal with everything else from your past. But I feel now you're ready to give more of yourself. Oh, look. Listening to your heart. What is your heart telling you? I think you've met the right one. It's somebody new. I mean, you know of them, but you've never met with them in person. I trust the magic. I receive from my heart. There is somebody that loves you. Who's trying to offer you love and support. Scorpio. You just have to be um, able to receive. Breaking barriers. Okay? I am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom. So that's shedding all that burden, all those wands you've been carrying, Scorpio. I'm happy for you, though. I know it's painful. It's not fun. But it was something that needed to be done. Poor Scorpio. Poor Scorpio, please. January the 4th, what do we have? Nothing will come of a situation. Okay? So, I feel it's somebody from the past that you were holding on to. Spirit is saying, no. Nothing will come from this situation. It'll just be more of the same old nonsense. So you need to let it go. For your well-being. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So that's you shedding everything, cutting cords with people from the past, right? And moving into the new Scorpio. The energy is gaining momentum. Once you get through this and you release everything, everything just starts moving. Okay? So get ready. Because I feel there's a lot of beautiful things trying to come into your life. Bring love into a situation. It could be with an Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. So, I feel you already know who it is for you. Okay, It's your divine counterpart. You already know this person. Okay. So I feel you're going to be heading 
in that direction very soon. Don't let your pride get in the way. Okay? Maybe your person has pulled back their energies from you to give you space. And, um... Just if you want to talk to them, talk to them. Reach out to them. I feel like they don't... It's not like they pull back their energy because they don't want to talk to you. It's just they're trying to give you your space. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For January the 4th, dear angels, what do we have? Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Okay, let's see what we have. Courage. Okay, there may be an opportunity that was offered to you, Scorpio, and you need to have the courage. To step forward it could be about a home, a different location. Spirit is saying you should have the courage to to trust and take that leap of faith. Here. Strength. You may be dealing with somebody who has Leo in their chart, or maybe you do. Okay? But they're asking you to, to step forward here. There's somebody very beautiful. Somebody who you're very attracted to here. Handsome, beautiful, doesn't matter. But you're very attracted to. And this person, Scorpio, can bring you a lot of enlightenment. Their energy is amazing. When you're in their presence. What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio, please? What else for Scorpio? For Scorpio, please. Okay, so I feel somebody is offering you some kind of stability here, Scorpio. Uh, possibly a soulmate, a twin flame. It's an 1111 card. This is your person here, okay? It may have to do with some kind of retreat here. Um, this person means what they say, you know? Um... I feel you're both stable, but I feel that this connection will come into activation, okay? The two of you will come together, and there's some special place that the two of you will be together at. Anything else? For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Yeah, you see? It's your little piece of heaven here. It's your sanctuary. Okay. You have the wisdom. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness here and a lot of prosperity here, Scorpio. A lot. And it will also give you the flexibility to not only work hard, but to also enjoy your life. Okay, let's see what your angel prayer cards want to say for today. For Scorpio... What do the angels want to tell Scorpio? You may want to say these prayers as well if this message resonates with you. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. 
Alright, Scorpio. Focus your mind. It's all about aligning your chakras too. Thank you, angels, for helping me to focus on my priorities. Okay? There are chakras that need to be healed here, Scorpio. So get focused. Spirit animal. Some of you have spirit animals around you that are trying to communicate with you. Thank you, spirit king, I mean, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love. So they are trying to bring love into your life. One that's worthy of you, Scorpio. The divine physician. There is somebody that you're dealing with that is very spiritual. That's a healer that helps people heal. This person has been trying to help you, Scorpio. The Divine Physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for sharing your divine gifts upon my healthy body. Okay? So they're trying to help you detoxify, get yourself balanced again and healthy. Signs from heaven. Ooh. Scorpio. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. So you're surrounded by your angels and your ancestors here. You may be seeing signs or synchronicities. That has to do with your angels. Okay, let's see what your animal spirit cards are for today. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. I never know if those cards are going to go flying off or not, Scorpio. For Scorpio, clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Anything else, Angel? What would you like Scorpio to know? Okay. Okay. All right, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, here we go. Claim your independence. Yeah, you may be cutting cords from family members, people that have put a lot of burden on you, responsibilities on you. From childhood, I feel, Scorpio. Um, you, I feel like you're just, you're wanting to break free and stand on your own and do what you want to do for you. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. You can do that. You can make those changes, Scorpio. Okay? You don't have to keep yourself stuck. Be peace. An ex may contact you and tell you that uh, it's over. Okay? It's going to hurt, but you know it's for the better. Time to collaborate, not only with spirit, but with like-minded people. Okay? Spirit is nudging you to do this. It has to do with your spirituality. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. You will, once you make this transition of uh, releasing the past. Okay? You will. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And I will see you again tomorrow. You be safe for me out there, okay? Sending you much love. Bye.